Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and welcome to this CMD or Command Prompt course and shortcut for Command Prompt is CMD. In this very first tutorial we will learn how to open Command Prompt, how to close it and what is CMD and why we even need CMD or why we even need a Command Prompt in Windows computers. And in further tutorials of this CMD course we will learn each command separately where I will explain you the commands which you can use in Command Prompt and I will show you also the most use cases how these commands are used and after this course you will know everything about command prompt. So let's start discussing and understanding what exactly is CMD or command prompt. Think of it as a tool that lets you communicate directly with your computer. While most of us are used to clicking the icons and using menus, CMD is like having a conversation with your system using text commands. It might look simple but don't let that fool you. CMD is incredibly powerful. And to open a CMD in Microsoft Windows, in search type in CMD or you can start typing command prompt. And when you start typing a command prompt, you will see very first icon which is system icon, command prompt. And if you click into it, it will open a command prompt. And there is another way how you can open a command prompt. Let's close this down. Another way how you can open it and do it much faster is if you type in in search CMD and hit enter and this will do exactly the same and it will open a command prompt and there are two ways how you can use command prompt when is when you are using as administrator and another way is that you are using your CMD or command prompt as a user if you would like to use it in administrative mode you also can type in CMD or command prompt in search and right click on this icon command prompt and here you will see run as administrator. So click on run as administrator and for some commands you will need to run CMD or command prompt as administrator to be able to use all features of that particular command or to interact with your system. So why do we even need CMD when we already have a graphical interfaces? Great question. CMD gives you more control and flexibility. One thing is it lets you do things faster, automate repetitive tasks, troubleshoot issues and even access features that aren't always available in the graphical interface. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, CMD is the tool that helps you unlock the full potential of your computer, which you will see from further videos when we will be going over the commands. And in these upcoming videos we will explore how to navigate, manage files, check network connectivity and run useful commands step by step. And by the end of this course you will feel confident using CMD for everyday tasks and more. And in this tutorial I will also show you how you can close and how you can clear your CMD. So first we have learned how to open. First was if you type in command prompt in a search and you click simply on this icon command prompt and you open a CMD or command prompt in a user mode or another way was if you would want to open it you type in CMD and hit simply enter and you can also open it in user mode. Another way like I mentioned is if you type in in search command prompt and you right click on the icon if you would like to run it as administrator and you select here in this pop up run as administrator and you are running CMD or command prompt in administrative mode and this will be required for some commands if you would want to fully interact and you must have these administrative rights. And first thing what you will see here is C column backslash users backslash Marty this is my username and this triangle closing bracket and this is the path where you are currently in in the CMD and whenever you are using CMD or command prompt this will also this path will also show you always where you are in on your computer for example if you would want to access the same path on your computer click on your file explorer this is the folder which is usually located on your taskbar at the very bottom or if you click on any folder on your computer system. For example I will click on this images folder which is located on my desktop and it opens this folder and to get to the same path which is disk C 
all you need to do here is in the left navigation at the very bottom you will see this PC click into this PC and here you will see this C this is your C drive where all your files are located on your computer in some computers you might have more than one drive but in this particular scenario this is the main drive on our computer and this is the only drive on our computer and that's why we are located here and all files of this computer are located in this one drive as you can see here if you are clicking in this PC you will see this drive where all files all folders all information on this computer or on this operating system are located in this one drive that's why this pass in our command prompt starts with C column because this letter C or this could be another letter for another drive if these drives would be located here which I will show you how to create in first videos this letter usually indicates that this is the drive so C column if we click into this drive here on our user interface or GUI this is also known as graphical user interface here you will see more folders and here you will also find this folder which is called users as you can see here if we are looking at this path firstly we were C column backslash and then users if we click into the users in our graphical interface here you can see also this user Marty and this is the folder where we are in Marty if we click into the Marty here you will see all data about this particular user as you know on Windows computers you can create more than one user and if you are creating more than one user then they will have their own files in their own directory in my scenario I am a main user I am administrator user and this is my folder on drive C and this is why we are also seeing this in C column backslash users folder and Marty user and all folders and all files of me of Marty user are in this directory in next video I'm going to show you how you can check this but now if you would want to for example at any stage clear the screen you can type in CLS command and click enter and once you type in CLS this is the command which also always allows you to clear the command prompt so you can have a clear view and there are no commands which you have executed previously and another command to close down the command prompt is simply if you type in exit and you hit enter and this will close the command prompt or cmd so in next tutorials we will go through all commands which you can use on cmd mm -hmm.